Hey there, friends. Uh, it's a beautiful morning where I am. Wanted to go for a walk and talk about growth edges. Mary and I are doing Give Your Gift, the cohort, second one right now, and working with people. And one of the things we do is we get on a call with people and just ask them a lot of open-ended questions about where they are in their life and what their strengths are and what their dreams are. And one of the questions that we really like to ask people is, what are your growth edges? And I love this question. It's one of my favorite questions uh, to ask in this setting. And sometimes people don't know what a growth edge is and it's really central to how I think about the empowerment work and really life in general and in any case I thought it'd be worth reflecting on it so I thought I'd record a video to talk a little bit about what growth edges are and why they matter also curious to hear how other people think about them this is just how I think about them uh, I think it starts with just the idea that we're always growing um, that growth is always possible, that we're dynamic, evolving developmental processes that we are unfolding, that we're not static entities, we're not permanently fixed. You know, physically, we mature into adults and then, um, you know, you're kind of the same shape and size and stature that you are for most of your life until you kind of start aging. Uh, that's kind of the, the physical model that most people have, but internally, psychologically, spiritually, in terms of who you are in your character and your life and your soul, you're, you're always changing. Of course, in practice, your physical body is always changing, etc. But, you know, the point is we're not fixed internally with respect to who we are, how we see the world, how we show up, what our skills are, what we're doing, how we understand ourselves, how we interact with the world. And so much change is possible. We can change so much, even in a moment, but certainly in months and years and decades of our lives. And that process can be thrilling. You know, it can be overwhelming as well, but if you really embrace it, you know, I'm, I just turned 32 the other day and uh, who knows how long I'll live, but let's say I live till my life expectancy, you know, something like the eighties or so, my eighties or something or more. Um, so much change is possible in that time. <laughs> I've experienced how much you can change in a moment and it would be thrilling to have many, many, many moments like that where you just change deeply as a person. And uh, of course, change can happen over months and years too, but there's no limit on how much change is possible and how much growth is possible. And I'm, I'm deeply motivated by that process. It's, it's thrilling to come to new levels of yourself you know if you think of it sort of as as a levels metaphor many of us myself included love playing video games or loved them as a child or something and it's like one of the cool things about that is there's a there's a skill tree and you you develop at levels and every so often it's like oh you're level 12 now instead of level 11 you know and uh maybe you can get up to level 100 or something and in life there's no legible skill trees in quite the same way that there's a game there's no number that comes down and says, oh, you're a different level now, but there's no limit on what you can discover or how much you can grow. Um, growth is possible in every area of your life, in every dimension, and even more dimensions than you might think. Um, of course, your, your, your life is finite and your time is finite. You're gonna die, but the ways in which you can change and the degree to which you change is not limited. Um, the actual changes you undergo will be limited, but the potential is limitless. And that's, that's exciting. I think um, 
this is one of the things that makes it possible to enjoy work and projects in a way that's not coercive, that's um, joy oriented, where you just want to do projects because that experience of growing and changing and developing and leveling up is intrinsically motivating. Um, you, when you go through some kind of change, it can be difficult, but then on the other side, you're like, wow, I'm, I'm noticeably better at this thing and I can do more and I can see more and I can experience more and more is possible. And that um, whole process can, can start to become very motivating. It's like, wow, I just want to grow as much as I can. And, and doing work, doing projects, interacting with people, playing in the world, exploring, experimenting is the process through which you grow. That's really, I mean, for me, doing service projects, my work in the world has become, in a lot of ways, my major spiritual path. Most of what I do all day is just work on service projects. Um, I do that far more than I do, you know, seated, formal seated practice, which I did a lot of in my 20s. Uh, that was the main method through which I developed spiritually. Of course, um, I trained at Maple and the Monastic Academy, and part of the training there too was work projects. So they understood this possible for possibility for growth through work, and that's where it was kind of seeded for me. But that's more and more become my main venue for practice is uh, action in the world, working on projects, what you might call karma yoga. So I love this for myself and I love it for other people and I love witnessing people in their growth, saying like, wow, you're really growing here or wow, you really grew here. And that motivates me to work with people and help them to unfold and grow as a person. And so that's why I love this question. What are your growth edges? And you know, if you imagine a plant, like, you know, there's all these like trees and plants around me, as they grow, they have a certain physical size and with sunlight and nutrients and water, they stretch up past that physical location and take up more space. And it's kind of like that for us developmentally when, when we grow, except we're not growing physically, we're growing in some specific area of our life or some specific skill. And uh, it's worth knowing what your growth edges are in every area of your life or the ones that you really care about. You know, there's, there's different aspects or domains of life. Maybe you care about relationships. Maybe you care about, you know, um, your capacity to uh, show up for a specific kind of skill at work, you know, maybe communicating. Uh, maybe you care about a certain movement practice. You know, like I like Tai Chi, for example. Maybe you like swinging kettlebells. Whatever it is, whatever area of your life you care about, you can think, hey, what are my growth edges with this? How am I growing? I just am growing. I am changing. I am a dynamic being. What's, what's, what's my growth edge? And I think there's kind of two places you can look for finding your growth edge. One is what's painful and challenging or what other people are giving you feedback about or, you know, where it's kind of stuck. Um, there's always these things, you know, um, or often these things. Something that's hard, something that's painful, something that's not quite working. Like in my art practice, for example, right now, like many artists, I find drawing skin hard so that it looks realistic and plausible. I just know that, you know, or, or, or like very basic drawing skills. I tend to trace a lot still in my art uh, based on reference photos because that you can do that on Procreate and it's probably kind of a handicap, honestly, um, that lets me do things that I wouldn't be able to do on my own. That's fine. Uh, you know, I'm not blaming myself. I'm not adding shame or, you know, blame or guilt, but it's just like, yeah, that's, that's something that's hard for me that I could stand to improve at that I would really level up if I was better at drawing or better at doing skin or, you know, I can think of any number of other things with art or, you know, any of the other things I care about, my writing, you know, uh, leading loving kindness meditations, any area of my life that I care about, 
I can think, oh, where are my growth edges here? And looking for what's difficult or painful or challenging or people are giving you negative feedback about or constructive feedback, that's, that's a sign of a growth edge. Um, there's a whole other one, which is just, what am I interested in? What's, what's juicy for me? What's alive? And I think this one's even maybe more sustainable. I don't know, I tend to look at this one. It's like, what am I excited about? What seems fun? Um, what, what am I yearning to get better at? Um, not so much from a lack or a difficulty, but just like, oh, wow, it'd be cool if I got better at that. That'd be great. Um, you know, and you, again, with any area of life, you can look at this like, oh, whoa, you know, what would be awesome if I could do that? Um, I don't know. I've just spent a lot of the last six months learning to DJ, the basics of DJing, and I have growth edges with that, things that I want to get better at and things that I develop. But as I, as I do that, I'm like, oh man, it'd be great to really get into music production. And that's kind of been the intention to learn DJing first and then inshallah, God willing, get into music production. We'll see how that goes. It's, it's scary, but also it's, a, it's at the point where it's exciting. It's like, ooh, it'd be cool to make my own tracks, not just DJ other people's tracks or collaborate with people to make tracks. So, um, yeah, you can just look for what, what are you excited about? What are you wanting? What are you yearning for? What is this, this kind of internal fire to get better at or to look into? Not necessarily from a pace of um, pain or problem or scarcity or lack, but just like, oh, this would be great if I learned how to do that. Um, you can do the first one too. I think it's just helpful to, it really helps to have, you know, internal emotional skills where it's not sort of a blame thing or like, oh geez, other people want me to be better kind of thing. I did a lot of that in my twenties and, uh, that was a mess. So I think I'm largely at a point where I have, you know, grown so that I can have the internal skills to take care of that in a better way, but it's, it's still not my, my preference. I don't know. I, I prefer to be motivated by just like play and exploration and what, what's my desire. So, um, you know, everybody's different, so you'll see what works for you. But yeah, thinking about this concept, where am I growing? What are the growth edges? What's, where am I stretching into in different areas of my life? And what's wanting to happen here? How can I unfold that? And once you're aware of what your growth edges are, uh, you can, you know, design experiments to work on them or figure out ways to play with them and stretch into them. And yeah, making an attitude of experimentation and play of just, I'm going to try this thing out. Maybe this thing will help me to grow with this. Maybe I can try this out. Um, not so much, oh, I need to fix this problem or I need to get better at this thing by a certain date or else. It's just like, oh, what if I tried this? What if I ran this experiment? What if I played with this quality? And, you know, it depends on what area of life it is and what it is that you're caring for and what you're trying to develop. But, you know, if you just, if you, if you know what your growth edge is, that's the first step to being aware of what are some experiments that I could run? How can I play with this? What can I explore that would help me to get better at this? And a lot of times, you know, for me doing a service project, doing a specific time bound project, you know, in the shorter medium term, on the order of weeks or months where I have a goal and maybe collaborators or something and I'm trying to do something is a perfect playground to explore a growth edge. Um, you know, I mentioned that I've been learning to DJ. I was trying to learn to DJ by Vibe Camp 2, which was in Maryland this last month in June so that I could run a meta dance party there and be able to DJ. It's like, that skill and exploring that growth edge, developing in that way, was connected to a specific project that I already had motivation to do, that I was already signed up to do. Um, really connecting it to real world things that you're doing with real stakes is so helpful. That's not the only way to explore growth edges, but that's one that I've really come to lean on is actually doing projects. And like, what, you know, another way to look at it is, okay, what are the projects that I have right now? And how can I, use them as an avenue to explore growth? How can this be a playground for me to develop? What is possible for me to develop here? How is this an opportunity for me to grow? If you know, you're already doing things, what can I use this to grow? Whatever it is, you know, uh, 
I have a friend who's working as a um, dishwasher right now and you know that's a that's a great job I would actually love to be a dishwasher but I have the sense you know they, they, they would love to do more things with their life and I understand that and appreciate that but that's that's the job that they have right now but how could that job be an opportunity to grow right rather than oh I'm stuck here and this is the thing I have to do which is a you know a valid perspective they could have on the situation well, I'm here anyway, how can I use this to grow? How could this be the very opportunity that pushes me forward, right? Looking at life and your circumstances and what you're doing as an opportunity is just such a powerful frame. What is this situation that I'm already experiencing an opportunity to do? How can I make use of this situation? Again, less from a, there's a problem to fix perspective and more just exploration and play and like, wow, I could try this. I, it, you know, and, and typically any situation can be an opportunity to do a lot of different things. And because you know what your growth edges are, because you've had the time to reflect on that, you can decide which opportunity you're going to take advantage of, or even notice new opportunities that you might not have otherwise, you know? Say my friend that is a dishwasher um, wants to work on uh, collaborating with his colleagues and, and you know, um, interpersonal skills of some kind. Well, you know, you got to work in a restaurant with 10 other people. How could I use that to work on the very interpersonal skills that are hard for me? For example, I'm just making that up. That I don't know that my friend cares about that. Uh, anyway, uh, that's some thoughts that I have about growth edges and how I relate to them. Um, would be curious to hear how you think about it. Feel free to pop something in the comments or, you know, even make a video reply. It's so cool that we can just make videos and upload them to YouTube the internet. Uh, would love to hear what you think. Okay, take care.